going to be doing a review on the 1902B Acorn Back Ernay's Ivory Finish Bees. Uh, I don't actually know what the actual name of the cards are. Um, they're Acorn Back. They are made in the USA. The box is pretty much similar to the just regular BX. Um, other than the back being different, different border design on the back, and some of the words have changed. It took some of the words out. But other than that, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, on the side, this one just says, Made in the USA, and this one says, The US Playing Card Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's get into the review of the actual cards. Let's open these up. Yeah. So what you get in this deck is a Ask Alexander card. Is that? And these are the ivory finished editions. So um yeah. Um these are the backs of them. Don't really know if I like the backs of them yet. Uh the good thing about these other than the other uh B cards is that if you flip a card over in this deck, it's going to not show up as the other cards did. Let me feel me. Okay. Uh, the feeling, the feel of these cards, I don't like. The ivory finished, I don't like the feel of them. They feel kind of. I, I don't know. I just don't like the feel of them. They don't feel the same as like if you take out a, a deck of regular bicycle cards. They're not going to feel the same. They feel kind of weird different. Anyway, they, I don't really like them. You also get the expert at the card table. Just a little insight about the book. Expert at the card table. So, heard that. Um, there isn't a double backer in here, though. And that was kind of surprising. I guess most cards now come with double backers. These are the jokers. Uh, Interesting jokers. Don't really know if I like the joker design, but I guess there's sort of a reveal. You can't, I can't catch it, but there's cards on the table right here, and they change throughout the jokers. So, this is the ace of spades. The deck. It's very um, reminiscent of this regular B deck. Um, the only thing that's changed really is the back design and the, f and the finish. I don't really like the ivory finish on it. I'd, I'd probably go with the cambric over the ivory. The ivory just kind of feels weird to me. doesn't feel right. Uh, I don't think I'll ever use these in a performance of anything just because they feel, they feel weird. They just feel different. I don't really like them. But the backs on don't appeal to me much either. Uh, I uh, if I can show you guys or not. You can see the, like the background is made of little hands doing like a doing doing different shuffles and different card moves, which is kind of kind of cool. But um, deck is definitely more for magicians than amazing or spectators or whatever. Uh, for card collectors, I would say yeah, go ahead and get a few of these if you're actually gonna go out and try to perform with these cards. And go out and perform with these cards. I don't know about that. I don't think I'd perform with these. The finish is just so weird on them. Um, this is the spread. They spread pretty nice out of the box. I have I've never used these. They're pretty slippery as well, so they're not very good for. Yeah, they're not very good for cuts. They're really really slippery. These cards, very slippery. So I don't. They're not very good for cuts. Yeah, and cuts. Definitely, you're gonna have to work with them for cuts. Um, they fan well since they're you know. They fan pretty good. I can't fan very well, but uh, the finish on them I don't care for. Uh, you don't get any gaffs with them. Just an Ask, Ask Alexander card with a back on them. With Bell, Bella Mondo, dot biz. I don't know, it's a business card thing. That's uh, Ask Alexander in the front. Just give the website. Um, and next we have the card table. Doesn't come with any gimmicks, like I said. Uh, the 
facts, I don't know, just don't appeal to me. These cards, uh, I'm going to give my ratings, I'm going to start giving ratings. Uh, the rating I would give these cards is about a six, six and a half. I don't like them very much. The finishes off, the, the cards, the fronts are just a big issue. They have small, the smaller letters, I don't really care for those either. I'll just give you, and the uh, core cards, uh, I don't care for small pips. And the king just looks weird to me. Uh, see how the small J is? You probably can't tell, but they're small compared to a regular J. Actually, there's a queen. See, you can tell the letters are kind of like smaller. The font's smaller on them, too. I uh, don't care for this deck. Six out of five. If you guys have a deck you want me to review, just put a comment saying this is a, you want me to review that deck. And this is my first review of a deck of cards. And I will see you guys later. See you. See ya.